What happens in a bull market is that at the top, people are happy. So here we are at the top of a bull market. But when the bear goes out the window, it comes down so fast. Mm. Like I think it was Ernest Hemingway who said, how did you go bankrupt? Slowly at first, then suddenly. Suddenly it's coming. I'm, I'm a pure capitalist. When markets crash, it's the best time to get rich. So I, I'm getting very excited about a crash coming because the better stocks will come available. Unfortunately, there will be massive social unrest. That's what I'm, that's what I'm more concerned about because we have not reinvested. We, the Fed and the Treasury have only invested in the investor class. They haven't invested in the working class. And the working class is without jobs, without pay, without this. Their 401ks are going to get toasted. And that's why I'm, why I'm more saying, uh, I don't like what's happening. The S&P 500 is really the S&P 7. And it's being held up by Treasury Secretary Yellen and Powell. So there's no correlation between the economy and what Yellen and Powell are doing. Now, I'll make, I said one more thing is that I'm a little strange in that I like crashes. So this next crash is going to be really, really good, but it'll bring down gold, silver, Bitcoin stocks. But the good news is, is a crash is a good time to get rich. So that, that's why I'm, I'm optimistic and I'm very optimistic on gold, silver and Bitcoin, not on stocks. You know, if you like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, have a good life. But once I saw the process of how you take nothing, you take a bunch of BS and you turn it into a stock and you take it public on the Toronto Stock Exchange and then if lucky, it goes to the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange. I really don't like the process personally, you mm -hmm. know, but so, but all it did was convince me why gold, silver, and today Bitcoin, far more solid investments given what's going on in the economy. The big debate is, is there inflation or deflation? And if you look historically, what's happened today is the nominal debt to GDP is a correlation of M2, the volume of money, times the velocity of money. And, and the reason Yellen and Powell are scrambling is because they've expanded M2, so everybody thinks it's gonna be inflation, but velocity of money, the velocity of money is plummeting. People are not spending. So they pump all this money in, prices go up. Meanwhile, the Asians are catching up now, they're, 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 the ports are finally open. So it's a tra it is transitory inflation. But the problem is we're stacked with this massive debt and, and all it's done is bump up the stock market and real estate market. The money has not gone into the economy. That's the sad part. So the rich get richer, but the poor and middle class are getting poorer. It is tragic what's happening today. The reason I don't care for Yellen or Powell because they're both Marxist. And when I say that, I get nailed but I will, I will read you a quote from Lenin. Okay, this is Vladimir. He says, the establishment of a central bank, this is a direct quote, is 90% of a communizing of a nation. That's Yellen and Powell. The best way to destroy the capitalist system is to debauch the currency. They're actually Marxist organizations. A capitalist is somebody who believes in teaching people to fish. And a socialist wants to give people fish. And then it just, yeah, I just divide them that way. And so all, also what's happening with your generation and the, actually with Gen X, the income of men is dropping. If you're not going to study, you're not going to practice and all that, then you should do what Wall Street tells you to do. Buy, you know, 401ks, mutual funds, ETFs and all that. But that, that's where they're fake assets, because they only make Wall Street or the city of London rich. Just watch where the cash is flowing. Follow the money. It's not making the poor middle class rich. You know, all Wall Street in America has done is rip off the pensions, because, you know, pensions are the biggest pool of money in America. And states like Kentucky, New Jersey, Illinois, California, Hawaii are going bankrupt 
because Wall Street went in and just sucked all the cash out of their pensions. So the school teachers like my dad, the firefighters and police officers, they have no retirement now. And so that's why it's fake money, fake teachers, fake assets. They're the same system. A capitalist is somebody who believes in teaching people to fish. And a socialist wants to give people fish. What's happening with your generation and the, actually with Gen X, the income of men is dropping. The first 10 years of this century, we have had three major crashes. In 2000 was the dot-com crash, followed by the 2006 real estate subprime crash, and then 2008, the banking crash. The question is, is this next? This is the giant crash of 1929. And every time I listen to those guys on CNBC, I call it bubble vision, they keep talking about the giant crash of 1929. I tell you what, it doesn't even compare to this one coming. We're going into one of the roughest periods of humanity right now. And the problem is, in my, from my perspective, is the dollar. And so if you understand the dollar, U.S. dollar versus the loony, it was created in 1913, but so was a tax department created in 1913. Right. So what they're going to do, we have so much debt today, they're going to have to keep printing. But every time they do that, it creates more poverty. The system is failing. So we're going to have more homelessness, more unemployment, and the government has to print more money. The baby boomers have only known an up market. And now the end is near. They're starting to retire out just as the market is topping. China's coming down. We have trouble in Europe. I'm just watching this whole thing going, what's going to happen to the boomers? Because they actually had it the easiest of any generation I've ever seen. The boomers had it the easiest of all generations. You know, when we came out of high school, I mean, college and high school, we put money in the stock market. Everything went up. We bought houses. Everything went up. And now it's about to come down. So today you have my generation, the boomers, they're hanging on by a thread due to historical events coming in. So now the stock market is at an all time high. It's nuts. And the reason it's all time high is because our CEOs are borrowing money from the treasury to repurchase their own stocks. So we don't have a real economy. We don't have a real stock market. And the US, the Fed is greatly in debt. The US is greatly in debt. So your generation is far more aware. But my generation, my concern is the market is going to come down. Stock market, bond market, real estate market. And my generation is not prepared for it. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. Do you want to know one thing about crypto? I made over 3000% in profit in a few weeks. Fact is, the traditional financial system, the traditional money system makes you poor, not rich. If you want to earn 500,000, 1 million dollar, you have to wait until you're 50, 60, 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke and you will be old. This is not a sexy combination as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where do you start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany as you can hear and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. The fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them. And if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange. And one of the biggest are, for example, Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well-established exchanges. But, and this is a big but, you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded on those kind of exchanges. 
They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much, much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example, Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy. But the moment he recommended Dogecoin, it went through the roof. To the moon, so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really, really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail, and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist, here's what you should do. There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon. Click on the link now. I'll see you there.